and welcome it's Kylie Vitucci Stamping Up Demonstrator in Australia here with you and I thought I'd jump in to show you how I made my card for the Maui block hop today bit of a surprise hello now I will have the link below if you missed the hop definitely go and see it because we have some amazing amazing demonstrators from around the globe who've taken part in our blog hop today and I know that they're absolutely going to inspire you today. So the card that I made today was using, ah, oh, how gorgeous is this? The Botanical Prints stamp set. Now this might be a stamp set that could have escaped your notice. I know you're looking at this going, why have I not seen this stamp before? Look at those beautiful flowers. <gasps> Stanza, as my lovely Jessie would say. Now, this card is super simple. I know it doesn't seem like it is, but it really is. And it is using the Botanical Prints Suite. Now, it may be something that you've missed. It's in the back of the catalogs and it's in the suite section, even though it's actually uh, in the kit section, even though it's actually a suite. So that can be a little bit confusing. Now, to help you to get a lot of inspiration from this uh, amazing suite of products, which is jam-packed full, you get so much in the suite that you're going to be creating for ages, but we know that we want to give you some support. So this month, we actually created an all-star tutorial bundle so that it has not only amazing, 12 amazing projects that are all unique from 12 different demonstrators, but we've also included 12 exclusive videos as well. So if this is an amazing suite that you would like to get your hands on, this is just yet another video to help you see why you must have it, have to have it, because <laughs> we're all like that, nah, don't really, oh my goodness, I need it. <laughs> I've been there, trust me, I've done that. <laughs> and now that I've got this suite, I'm just like, I'm so happy I got that suite. <laughs> So let's jump in and I will show you how simple and easy it is. And of course, my amazing card template tutorial is going to come into play big time with this card. And let me show you how. So firstly, we have a lot of layers here, right? So we love layers. Bring on the layers because it just looks so fancy. We like a bit of fancy layering and it doesn't have to be difficult. Layering is so amazing, particularly when you have a smaller stamp set like this that you really want to sh shine out and look great. And particularly even with this small sentiment, because it's not a large sentiment and you can think, oh, it's just going to get lost on a, on a big card like this. But if you frame it correctly, it can be really a beautiful thing, as you can see. So let me show you what I've done for the card templates. If you have not seen my card templates, what? Where have you been? Welcome. Welcome. I'll introduce you to my card templates. So these card templates are, seriously, they could not have been from me, but they were, which is really weird because I don't know how something so amazing could actually come from me. <laughs> I actually surprise myself sometimes. But these card templates are brilliant because what they do is they will help you get the measurements in any country and in any measurement that you use in your country. Because we have around three different measurements, well, two different measurements, but using two different types of cardstock. Yeah, really confusing, right? So this will solve all of those issues because no matter what country you live in, if you have my card templates tutorial, you can cut these layers and even if you don't have this colored cardstock, that is okay too because you can just put a label on top that says Pacific point and then the measurement. Really simple, right? I've done the measurement there for me, but I don't want to confuse those people that are not metric like me because <laughs> you'll look at it and go, I'm really confused. Why is that measurement on there? So some of you may be using inches and some like me may be using metric. So you can just pop a little name and write it on there. You don't have to have a printed label. Keep it really simple. These could all be the same color. Totally up to you. Um, I think I started with mint macaron. All of mine were all mint macaron and I just had it written on there. And that's why I'm going to change it up and make them colorful. So what you're going to do, the gorgeous grape is our card base. And that will always be the card base, the gorgeous grape measurement. 
Then we're going to come in with a poppy parade, like a parade layer, and then melon mambo, or as some of you like to say, mambo. I like that. Hey, mambo, mambo italiano. Oh, I'm in one of those moods tonight. <laughs> I'm do a bit of singing for you as well. Then we've got this layer here, which is petal pink. I had to think about that. I'm like, no, that's not blushing brown. Petal pink, and that's going to be the whisper white layer. So this one is going to be Night of Navy. This one's going to be Whisper White. This one's going to be Night of Navy. This one's going to be Whisper White. This one's going to be Night of Navy, Highland Heather layer. And this one's going to be Whisper White, Pacific Point layer. So these are our colors. And you're literally just going to go Night of Navy, White, Night of Navy, White, Night of Navy, White. Voila. So let me show you. I have them all pre-done here. So you can see I've used these measurements to make my layers and look, I'm all sorted. And my amazing templates enabled me to see exactly what it was going to look like. I knew I wanted to have this middle section and I knew I wanted to have the framing as well. I wanted to um, have it all layered inside here. So isn't that cool? It's gonna help you a lot. And more than just knowing the measurements, but also getting ideas, it's like a, a IRL uh, card sketch in real life. It's like in real life card sketch. I love acronyms. They're all Jessie's acronyms too. I can, you can blame her for all of them. <laughs> we spend way too much time together. I'm really missing her though. I think I need her sent to send her one of these cards. I'm always here for you, Jessie. I wanna I miss you. I saw a really nice I miss you the other day. I can send her that one too. So what we need to do to start with is do some scoring because I do love to score my card base. So if you're wondering why mine is lengthways rather than the other way, I just love this for my photography. But the usual card size is like this where people open it up. People get these ones and they're like, why isn't it opening? <laughs> So it is best to stick to that way. It, I only do it like that for the photos because it just looks so beautiful when you see inside. Look, <gasps> little sneaky sneak. Whereas if I took a photo, you wouldn't be able to see that. See, isn't that cool? So that's why, that's the method to my madness in case you're wondering. So we're going to have this and then we're going to have this one. So we need to emboss that one. And then we've got these three layers. Make sure you pick up your right whisper white, which is the smallest one. So we're going to be stamping that one and that one. Good. Excellent. We have to check these things. Double check, triple check, check. So I think the first thing we'll do, we'll do our embossing first. And that's nice and easy. I know some people get intimidated by embossing, but I promise you, once you get into the routine and you have it all set up, I always have my heat gun ready to go right next to me in my little trolley that I have next to me. And it just makes it really easy. It doesn't have to be a big drama. It's like, yeah, sure. I'll just pull out my heat gun. It's right here. But if you have to go underneath and pick it up off the chair, oh, forget it. Who'd want to do that? Now, I like to mix it up for my second card. I haven't changed the colour, which is surprising because normally I do that as well, change the colour. But what I have done is decided to go for, instead of this gorgeous one here, I'm using these beautiful, I don't know what fruit. I think someone said maybe a pomegranate. Maybe it's a pomegranate. But today the pomegranate is going to be in a vintage look. So we're just going to go around the outside here and just remember that you're going to be covering the center so you don't need to do too much of the center. Beautiful. Oh, I think I'm going to like this. I was really tempted to just go with the floral again, but I'm like, no, try something new. It might be the most amazing thing ever. And if it's not, then everyone can just say, no, I like the other one better. And I'll go, yeah, I agree. But I thought I'd try just in case. You just never know. I could have found another amazing stamp in this set. And you know what? I think I have. I really do. So we're stamping around. 
Now I want to make sure I've got enough room to go in here without making it look too squishy. Beautiful. You probably can't see that very well at the moment. I'll just shine my little light over there in case it helps. Oh yeah, a little bit. Anyway, I'll show I'll hold it up in a moment. And then I'm gonna come in like so. Alright, let me show you this. So very, very slightly you can see that, but let's put our embossing powder on that and see what happens because it's just so exciting. Now you can't get these trays anymore. I'm very sorry. I know I keep using them and then all of you are like, wah, but you can just use a plastic sort of bowl with a spoon. I see a lot of people using that. Or you could use just a piece of white paper. Yeah. And just tip it on top and then you can tip it back into the jar. Because nothing gets wasted here. You've looked at this and gone, oh, look how much powder she's used. But it all goes back into the jar. So you can have embossing powder in the jar for a very long time. It's very good value because you keep all the excess powder. That looks amazing. Yeah, I'm really happy with that. It's a little bit here. And you can come in with um, like a little brush or something like that if you want to. I've just got to take off a little bit there. That's where my fingerprint was. Because your finger has oil on it. So you want to avoid touching it as much as possible after you've done the little embossing buddy. Because um, that takes off any oils or static. But then if you start touching it again, then you're going to get pieces of embossing powder stuck in a place where you don't want it to stick. So then we'll grab the amazing heat tool heat gun here. Some heat from behind, up to you, either either. I might heat from behind just to show you it changing and then I can have it up close for you. So you can have a good look of it changing. And you really do see a big change. See that big change there? You think, is it happening? And then you suddenly go, oh yeah, now it's happening. Because you look like you're not too sure at the start. Beautiful. So satisfying. my hand out of the way so I don't burn it because this heat gun gets very hot so please be careful Mesmerizing, isn't it? So cool. So I think we've got all that. Excellent. So that is embossing. See, it's not that scary. And then literally all you do is just grab your jar or your piece of paper, whatever you have, and then just pop all that powder back in. And look, it's like nothing ever went. It's like you never touched it. Do you like the piece of dimensional sitting in there? <laughs> that's my that's my um, issue with not using the um, <laughs> the stamp. What's it called? The um, Picatool. <laughs> just dimensional backings just turn up everywhere. <laughs> oh dear. Please tell me there's others like me. I'm not alone, am I? <laughs> okay, so we've done that one. Now I want to do some beautiful stamping on this 
first of all, though, what I'm going to do this time, and I didn't do it last time, but I'm going to work out where I want my sentiment. So I'm going to use the same one, which is I'm always here for you, but you've got some other ones here. Friend, thank you kindly. So you can even put I'm always here for you, friend, and mix it up. But we'll just stick to this one. So I pretty much worked out. I think it will be really nice in the lower quadrant here. And just use your grid paper if you have some grid paper. Stampin' Up have lots of different varieties. And then we just give that a stamp. I thought it would be really nice in that lower section. Just to try it out. And then what I can do is come in, wrap it right around. So I might even do, yeah, like this. That's pretty special. I'm loving it in the night of navy. Oh yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now, because there's so much room here, we're actually going to try and fill that space, not too close to the sentiment, because I want to give it some personal space, some social distancing. It was a word I didn't even know about a month ago. Just social distancing from the uh, sentiment right there. And then we want, so I've got three, so I'll just do a little bit closer here. And then one up the top, just a small bit here, just to fill in that. Because I always like to Fibonacci sequence it and do it in odd numbers. I always like to stamp in odd numbers. Does anyone else find that? I think it just, it looks prettier. Whoa, that sentiment is really crooked. <laughs> but you know what? I'm running with it. Should I run with it? <laughs> I'm looking at it going, oh, Kylie, you really missed that one. No, I'm, I can't handle it. It's too crooked. So this is where we get inventive. This is when you just go, you know what? I'm going to make something up right now. And it could end up becoming like another amazing thing. <laughs> This is, this is what we call a fixer-upper. Let's do a fixer-upper. <laughs> so we're going to grab this. And I'm just going to do some embossing. Because, you know, it's going to look hot. You watch. So we'll do that. And I've got my amazing chamois that looks absolutely disgusting. But it's amazing because it still cleans. None of it, look, I go in the middle here with, with the black part, nothing, nothing comes back on, it cleans it. I know, incredible. So what we'll do, we've got that all clean and tidy. And what I'm gonna do is do exactly what we did before, just do the embossing buddy first. Cause it's just, yeah, it, it's hurting my, it's offending me, it's too crooked. So I'm just gonna bring it down closer to me so that I can actually see what I'm doing because clearly I couldn't see what I was doing before so I put it about there and because it's on a separate piece I can always chop it yeah that's better I can always chop it in place if I need to straighten it up now one thing I've noticed that um people are doing more often now, which is actually a really nice technique, is just using snips and just cutting it. And it actually doesn't matter too much if it's not perfectly straight. I really like that. Okay, that looks good. And then again, see, it's no big deal because my heat gun's right here where I need it. Just make sure you move your um, embossing powder away when you use your heat gun because there'd be nothing worse than your beautiful embossing powder getting torched. So what we're going to do is cut that down with our amazing stamp and trimmer because and also, if you have it there, I think I might have lent it to Jessie. I don't know if it ended up coming back. No, I did give it to Jessie. 
because she's cutting up um, my VIP loyalty vouchers for me. But I gave them my little mini trimmer, mini cutter. I know! That's how amazing I am. Because I know that she'll get some really good use out of that beautiful cutter. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. And then we'll see. I don't know if I'll do the whole way along. Yeah, I think I will do the whole way along. But I just want to see where I'm going to do it. I might just cut it down. But I really want to see that beautiful... Plant, but I have to be careful that I don't okay I think I've got it I'm gonna do it about let's have a look I've got some snippies here where are you little snips oh, actually I love these ones when I'm doing cutting so let's see because I want to um I know I'm hand hand chopping. I should really be using my grid paper. Not that it helped me before. <laughs> just eyeball it, Kylie. Go. <laughs> Usually just lifting it. There we go. So then I can estimate. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Because I, I really wanted to show that. I didn't want to cover that because it's so pretty. So then I can just work out exactly where I want that and we'll just cut it a little bit more I should just use my paper trimmer that would be clever oh yeah that's good so I'm going to cover as much as I can of that <gasps> I love it and I'll even see what it looks like when we layer it because I'm, I'm going to put that on dimensionals and we'll see if it looks good don't you love these sort of mistakes it's so funny it's like ah, that was meant to happen yeah so I think I'll do it to the edge here to this edge yeah beautiful not very straight but don't look at that okay Close your eyes, close your eyes. <laughs> okay, let's do glue. There you are. Start sticking this beautiful card down. Layer one. So I really hope that you enjoy the card templates. I had a message from one of the girls on my team that her hubby even created an amazing card and he used the card templates and loved it because I think as a beginning stamper one of the hardest things to learn is like what how do I cut my cardstock what you mean it's not cut for me and that was probably the hardest thing even for me when I was running classes ah a bit of glue just jumped on there let's just grab that all good nothing to look at here um, yeah, in my classes, that was the hardest thing to teach was measurements. And I would end up cutting all of the cardstock for them, which is not good because then what would happen is they couldn't make cards without me, which defeats the purpose of card making. I want them to feel confident and I want them to be able to create even when I'm not there. Um, so then I started doing classes on actually cutting the cardstock, like what size to cut it which was great because then they learnt the measurements. But I was thinking, surely there's got to be an easier way to teach them. And then some of them were like, oh, I use inches. And do you use metric? We don't use metric. We use inches. I'm like, oh, my goodness, this is just, why is this so difficult? It shouldn't be this hard. So I came up with these cards. And I actually came up with these card templates because I make, um, the tutorials and we have universal measurements um, and my head just could not I could not get my head around the universal measurements it was like <laughs> I'm not good at math and now you're making me do measurements well I make myself do it <laughs> I 
I'm the one that does the tutorials. Oh my goodness, it looks so amazing. I love it when things like that happen. I really like it with the embossing. Ah, oh, I haven't stuck that one down. I don't know if I'm going to raise. Yeah, I'll raise that one too. Bryn will be proud. Let's raise that one too. Because we can. We've stockpiled on um, dimensionals just in case anyone else ran out and we could share. I promise it wasn't being selfish. We're not, we're not going to just keep it for ourselves. It's for everyone. <laughs> everyone's like the dimensionals are almost out of stock I wonder why <laughs> and I went Bruno it was Bruno <laughs> Bruno did it yeah <laughs> yeah excellent now I'll bring this closer so that I don't go crook it again there we go <gasps> Now we'll do the inside and I'm going to use that beautiful pomegranate thingy, whatever it is. Someone can tell me in the comments below. Tell me what fruit this is. <laughs> Two. Love it, chip it. And we're going to stick that inside. And what we're also going to do today, I always tell you to do this, but I haven't actually done it in a while. And that is because we have no naked insides. Beautiful. But we also need to have no naked envelopes. I got this from uh, Elisa Tilsner in Australia. She was mortified one day and she's like, oh, your envelope's naked. And I was like, yeah, what's the problem? <gasps> she was blushing. She was like this, oh, blushing. It's doing a nudie run. <laughs> oh, look how much better that is. Thank you, Elisa. I'm forever grateful for your naked envelope tip <laughs> your non-naked envelope tip <laughs> oh yes gorgeous and then I'll do another one on here that is brilliant how happy would you be uh, be getting this huh look at that so good and you saw that was not a difficult card to make was it I hope I proved that after half an hour people I'm impressed I think it's a record so there it is and I'll quickly show you how you can come over actually I better take a picture I better I better do a, a nice picture with the card <laughs> this is my favorite bit doing the picture for the screenshot <laughs> You'll see that later. So I'm going to share my screen with you. Pop my little head in there and I'll share this little store here. So I might just head over there. Good. Okay. I'm like, which way do I need to go <laughs> for you to still see me? So this is my little tutorial store if you want to get um, some of these card templates and things like that. If you go to my blog, I should actually, oh yes, under tutorials. So if you click under tutorials, you'll get taken to the shop. And I've got the Botanical Prints medley tutorial here. So you have 12 amazing designs from 12 different designers, Stampin' Up! demonstrators. And it comes with the 12 bonus videos. And this is in Australian dollars. So that will be cheaper for everyone except for New Zealand. And then we also have, if you go to, I don't think it's sitting in this section. No, no, actually it might be in the more, yeah. So that's more from this collection is the card template tutorial. So that's what I was talking about with the layers. 
so you can just come here and get your card template tutorial and that will give you every update for life you never have to purchase it again and I do updates probably every couple of months or so um, I've got a few there waiting to get put up and I've been sent a few which is really sweet they're like please can you can you add this one sure I'll get around to it soon I'm just finishing off some training so yeah they're the two tutorials that you want to look out for the botanical prints which is the same products that I used with this today and then also the card templates which I used for the layering of this card just so you know brilliant and if you're watching on YouTube the links will be below you just have to click on the header if you're watching on Facebook then the links will be above so any questions there you can just message me brilliant thank you so much for being here you're the best I really love you you're so good to me and you're so good to Bruno and we really appreciate your support and we're sending you lots of love. We hope that we can keep um, inspiring you to create and use all of your beautiful products and also to stay safe, to stay inside, to look after yourself and your families. And we're thinking of you during this time. Uh, I had a wonderful nurse contact me and say that she just wants to come home from work after a very, very stressful day and just turn on some Kylie Batucci and laugh. <laughs> so hopefully you got a laugh tonight. <laughs> hopefully my little, ah, oh, whoops, that's a bit crooked. <laughs> We've got to be able to laugh at ourselves, right? And it worked out great. I'm so happy with that, that mistake. So we really, really thank all of our frontline staff, our frontline workers. Oh my goodness, you guys are working so hard. And you know, we, the least I can do is do some extra videos and things to let you know that we're thinking of you. So it gave me purpose because I was thinking, oh, what's little old me doing card making for? It feels a little bit insignificant, but suddenly this wonderful nurse made it feel significant. She's in the UK and she's like, please just keep going. It keeps me entertained. So heart, mm, little hearts, big hearts. Mm. Love you all very much and please, please, please share if there's someone that you think will uh, enjoy this video or want some information from it and uh, anything you need, just let us know. Just message. We're always around. Hey, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> not for a little while. <laughs> so speak to you all very soon. Thanks for being here. Please thumbs up. Please like. Bye. See you soon.